MSPs because I thought that they are paid quite a bit. Uh, I, are... think, I think £82,000, I talked about it yesterday, £82,000 is quite a lot of money and most people watching this will probably think, yeah, well, they would be all right with that. I, I'm going to press you like I pressed Lembit. If £82,000... Not too hard. If you 80, crush me. If, eight, <laughs> if 82 is too much, yeah. what figure do you think that they deserve? For the MPs? Yeah. Well, they're saying it wasn't enough. I'd say so what do you that's think? enough. That's enough. Oh, OK, I, so 82 grand is... That would be... I'd probably drop off two grand and give the, the, bit, the extra bit to the nurses, but that's not the point here. I would say, basically, that if you asked me where I'd rather invest my money, would it be in the nurses and those who would care for me, yeah. would I rather put money into those people or would I rather put it into the politicians? From what I can see, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. It would be the nurses. Yeah, but, but there's only... How many MPs are there? Uh, 650. 650. So let's just say we knock two grand off, so that's... That, that was so that's just, that was just a pounds or, yeah. or that's just a little sum. That's yeah, a little again, sum. But, but what we're doing is we're going back and using emotive language about I'd rather give it to someone who's going to save a life. It's not emotive language, I would. I genuinely No, no I know, but if you, if you strip to a 10 grand each, mm. that's not going to be enough to give the pay rise that, for example, Lembit wanted for well, the actually, NHS. Well, actually, I think that yeah. there is capacity for the pay rise. And as I said, if, you're, if you find capacity for track and trace at 37 billion, mm. then you can find capacity to uh, increase to pay the nurses the money they deserve to save the industry. Because right now, it looks like the only way they're going to attract more nurses to the industry is by putting the wages up substantially and taking people from abroad. You might as well put the wages up substantially and give the people in this country the jobs. Lembit can justify, I think, the salaries of an employee. I, I, I would... I, I'm amazed to be on a panel with another person who actually agrees that MPs, and I respect you for this because it's not a popular thing to say, uh, who agrees that MPs should be paid at least as much or, or more, and I'd give them more. How much? About 120,000 a year. What I do is I get rid of the expenses system completely. I just give them a travel card so you don't have um, these, these other hidden benefits. But why would I do that? Because it's a hellishly unreliable profession. I didn't so expect what? to lose. So what? Um, that is irrelevant. There are so... Not. Listen, listen. TV is hellishly unreliable. You can have a show one day, you might have not a show the next. In fact, it's even more, even less but, reliable. So I, I don't actually agree with you. I don't think that should factor in. And the other thing, as you mentioned, there are other aspects to that job. So, for example, they've got this second home allowance or whatever, haven't they? They've got expenses. They can employ members of their family. Yeah, I mean, hang on a second, so but much... that's all the emotional stuff. It's not emotional okay, stuff. It so, equals money. Uh, OK. Oh, hang on a sec, then. First of all, you can't get basically buy a house. In the old days, you could buy a house and the state would pay, not the capital, but the interest. Mm. That was actually cheaper than what we do now. Because now everyone just signs off the maximum amount, it's like maybe £1,600 a month. And in the past, they, the state was paying £500 a month. So they get interest. a £1,600 a month allowance? Something property. like that. might be a bit okay, more Okay, so than that's that, on top of the money that they're already yeah, being paid. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so okay. we can add that on, because that's what almost like, what's that, yeah. 20 grand? Okay, and then, okay, yeah, that's true, but, but that's just... <laughs> so that's now 100 grand, on, we're but on 102 Wait a minute, pounds. wait a minute. That's been changed because of political pressure from, from the media in large part. It was cheaper to do it the old way, but just because of this... Um, poking at politicians all the time it's and they not. couldn't fight back. Well, you can they it. couldn't you... fight back. Oh, poor them. They, they can't. They haven't got no, the courage no. to fight back. They I, wouldn't have be... got... Listen. I probably wouldn't be saying this if I was still an MP. You won't get an MP sitting here saying, I deserve more money, because then they'll ha get hate mail and people yeah. like you attacking them. I'm not attacking them. I'm just pointing out that to the general public watching this, seeing £82,000, yeah, well, that is quite a you, lot of You money. are sort of attacking. And you wanted to give them a £2,000 pay cut. I'd, I'd probably make and it. And removal. I was, I, that was just off the top of my head as to how much. So, probably be less. Probably more than that, sorry. So give me a figure. Listen, as a figure... 70 grand. 60, maybe? Fine, fine. You know what, MPs would be whatever. paid nothing if you had a, a, a whatever, poll. Whatever, whatever you want to pay them, fine, but not more than what they're well, being let, paid let's now. Just, let's just the spin reason it on why, its head. I've made it very clear why, yep. because I think they're being paid enough, and you need to look at the general public and f see what, what people... But it's not like for like. We were just talking about nurses. To do a job like an MP's job, which wrecks your life, nothing it actually like ruined you aspects of my life. It, it, it's a terribly difficult job, and you get hassle, you get criticism in a way that... You don't get it if you earn three times that in the you private know, sector. Listen, listen, and it's dead unreliable. But you I know lost about my. That. It's like going into a job and saying, oh, well, I didn't realise it. Listen, you went into the job, that's the profession you chose. Those are the things that come with okay, it. Okay, I want the best people to be running the country. At 82 grand, you don't necessarily get I the best think, people. Simple as that. I think sometimes if you, uh, if you dangle a carrot like that, in fact, you get people who are only after the money. Oh, and come if you on, look at that's the just NHS. Not realistic. Well, let's use the NHS as an example. As you said earlier, this is something that people do because they're passionate about it, vocational about it, and they're prepared to accept less because they're passionate. Yeah, but Hang on. 
If you're passionate and you're prepared to accept less, it should be the same for the MPs. They should follow the same logic. Why is it well, different? Well, that, but, but I think we're agreeing that nurses should be paid more and you're not comparing like for like. I, nurses' I, I, jobs are a tough job. Like it's like. just, different it's just jobs. not the same. You need to compare the MP's job with an equivalent job in the private sector where you definitely get there far is, more for doing 80, no, 90, 100 hours a there's week. No, there's no equivalent job to an MP in the private sector. You're an MP, a member of parliament, as a member of parliament. We're not comparing. I'm just saying that their value, I don't think, I think their value is, that's it, 82 grand is enough, they shouldn't be asking for more. I think in actual terms, if you're talking about financial value, I'd say that the nurses and staff May I are spin more. it on its head? In, in your parliamentary career, did you know of anyone who you believed had only become an MP because of the salary? Well, no, no, some people got, some people, no, they just don't, it's, it's, Mike, let's, yeah. let's be realistic here. <laughs> some do. people become MPs because they're rewarded for their work in unions and stuff like that. I didn't like that patronage. But I don't think people on the whole went in there for that money. It's, there are easier ways of earning well, two grand than being that. an MP. I think you're detached from what other people... Yeah, I, took a, I took a pay there cut to be people. an MP. He well, was good, an MP. Yeah, why, is it, why is that good? How well, can he be detached? Why is it good? So, so why should I be punished for serving that's the not public? not being punished for serving the public. Financially, if I was. If you chose to take a pay cut to take that job, that's your choice. I know, I chose the that's job despite the salary, not because of the salary. Well, that's good, and that's how it should be. But that is the exact opposite of what you seem to think. No, no, I've just told you exactly that, that in actual fact... People should be passionate about the job they're doing. It shouldn't always be about the money. And you said that about the nurses. I totally agree with it. But why should they be expected to accept a lower amount of money? Okay. Because they're passionate you should and be the paid. MPs should, you should be, be paid. paid. Do you like your job here? Yeah? You should be paid less to do this because you should be doing this to serve the public, to um, inform the public. You shouldn't be doing it for the money. You take a pay cut, give it to the nurses then. To, to be honest with you, I, I love this job. I'm not going to say it out now because well, they might cut my pay. But, <laughs> but the point <laughs> is that I'm passionate about this job and it's not about the money to me. So, so why is it different for politicians? Well, exactly. You set yourself that's up why they should be paid that, I, I, see, look, we, we agree and we disagree at the same time, which I don't understand how that is. But the point of it is, is that I'm saying they're passionate about their jobs. They should, it should not be about the money and they shouldn't be expecting to get more. They get paid enough. It's enough money to live on. That's enough. Get on with the job. Oh. Uh, well, uh, you, you've got these... Generally speaking, you've got incredibly bright brains behind an MP. And for, we, we mentioned the word vocation earlier on. I think in politics mm. that it is vocational because a lot of MPs, they start off at a grassroots level yeah. and they, they progress through being a councillor and then going through local... You can roll your eyes and shake oh, your well, head I'm just all saying, you want. So does everybody in no, any they, other job? What no, they don't. Special, they, they don't. Thing. Because your point, yes, do. your point is that some career politicians are only doing it for the dough. They might be. Yes, but they're, they're not doing it for that. How do you know? You because I knew them. He's how do I know? You know them all. Those are better than you do. But yes, but some Nana, people might. Is, I'm just going this, with human nature. This is with some people might actually do it because this, they think this, it's a good wage. Okay, how about I think 82 how, pounds a good wage? How about this? Okay, how do I know? Because I spent 13 years on the benches with people from all parties. That gives me some modicum of experience about why people go into politics, unless you think that's not the case. Well, I, I, I think there's a mix of both. It's not a badly paid job. If you think £82,000 is a bad pay, then I think... It's, it's not a bad pay. We're arguing, about, not what not We're arguing not about what motivates them to become MPs. You seem to think that there's a proportion, potentially a large proportion, that do it for the dough. I didn't say a large no, proportion. You're but, putting words into my mouth. No, but I, I, I think the viewer the, will draw an inference that you think, think so. it's you're a pretty, healthy minority. No, no, no you're, you're putting I didn't say words, majority. No, no, no. Listen, I've said what I've said, and I'm in exactly those words. Words. Well, the, my point, my point yeah. is that the money they're being paid, I think, is adequate for the job they're doing. I don't believe they should be paid more, and I think other people who are looking at we're that... We're not talking about that. We're talking no, about what, what motivates them. Yeah. You, motiv right. you said and that what, what cash motivates motiv them. What should motivate them is the passion for the job, is what I'm saying. It's not the cash that should motivate them. It's the no, I agree, the but, but your point is, is that some of them... Let's just use the word well, some. Some of them yeah. might be, yes. Yes, they may be, yes, but, that's, but that's not a fact. That's an opinion. It's literally your totally uninformed opinion about why people go into Politics. You're going to be on the ejector seat in a minute if you use words like that again. Oh! <laughs> uninformed. I don't think so. Some Listen, would say. No, uninformed, I think, is really unfair, actually. OK, I'll take that back. Is, the point is, it's my, my thoughts, and I'm entitled to those, and I believe right. that £82,000 is a decent amount of money. I don't think they deserve a pay rise, and if anybody was going to get a pay rise, it would be the nurses. OK, and all I'd say, I suppose I, I really don't like going down this path. I feel like I've got a modicum more experience, and no vested interest, whatever. I'm not going to become an MP again. I've got a modicum of experience about why people go into politics, and you're just plain wrong. They generally don't go in, into generally, politics. Generally, there's always and most, for people who go and and into for every politics. person who becomes an MP, there are 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 or 50 who never make it that far. And I actually think for all the problems in our politics, most people in all parties are there for the right reasons, and they deserve Exactly. Most people, there's a caveat there, because some people might not be. Right.